Good evening and welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. Let's take a look at our headlines. Rajita says that we can revive country in five years. The Queen's lying in state ends ahead of state funeral. Lotus Tower nets over rupees 7 million from visits by public. Daughters demand rupees 200,000 to take care of father. Police launches probe as Peradeniya University student goes missing. Lanka IOC kicks off commercial operations of Sri Lanka's first grease plant. Now, diving into our lead stories. Even if some people claim that it would take 10 years to revive the country back to normalcy, SJP MP Rajita Senaratna stated that they could do it in around five years. He said apart from food, medicine and milk powder, there are two other essentials that people need and the government should prioritize on providing them to people. The lying in state ceremony for Queen Elizabeth II at Westminster Hall formally ended and the doors closed to the public ahead of her state funeral on Monday. Over five days, tens of thousands of people had waited hours in line before filing past her coffin to pay their final respects. The funeral will take place at Westminster Abbey in front of some 2,000 guests. Hundreds of foreign royals and heads of state are expected to attend the funeral for one of the biggest diplomatic gatherings in decades. The Lotus Tower management said that they have earned over rupees 7 million until yesterday from the date the tower was open for public viewing. He said more than 6,800 tickets have been sold by 8 p.m. last night. With the arrival of a large number of people, there was a heavy traffic witnessed in the Lotus Tower compound. The Tower administration had to temporarily halt issuing tickets on several occasions as the number of visitor turnout was much higher last night. An 82-year-old father of seven daughters made a complaint to the Paduka police that his daughters were demanding rupees 200,000 to take care of him. He requested the police to help him. He told police that the only land he had in his possession was sold to fund medical expenses for a kidney transplant and the balance rupees 400,000 had been given to his youngest daughter who looked after him until she abandoned him and his wife in a rented house and left with her husband. Police summoned his daughters and investigated the complaint to find that all of them were living well-to-do lives. OIC Kapila Senanayaka, who explained to them on their duty to take care of their elderly father and if they refused to do so, steps would be taken to resolve the issue through courts. Subsequently, one of the daughter's residents in Piliandala area had undertaken to look after her father. Police launches probe as Peridenia University student goes missing. Peridenia police have initiated investigation into a complaint over the disappearance of a fourth-year student of the University of Peridenia. Police said a 24-year-old student, a resident of Yakala who is studying in the fourth year in art faculty of the university, has been missing since few days ago. A letter suspected to have been written by the missing undergraduate was found last Friday in the boarding room where he was staying. Police said there had been no information about him until this morning and the investigation is continuing. Lanka IOC PLC said it commenced commercial operations of Sri Lanka's first grease manufacturing plant at LIOC terminal in Trincomalee. The facility with a 3,000 MT per annum capacity is built with an investment of rupees 320 million. The plant is expected to serve Sri Lanka's entire grease requirement. The plant is equipped with state-of-the-art grease testing laboratory equipment which will enable in-house testing of a wide variety of lithium-based grease to be produced. For further details on these stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup.